Welcome to SRAL's web series, EcoBytes. Each month, we'll focus on a different subject with new episodes coming out every Friday. So make sure you like and subscribe so you never miss a bite of ecological exploration. This month, we're going to look at a few invasive species and the impacts they might have on our environment. This week, we're going to take an up-close look at the invertebrate that creates these large mounds, the invasive fire ant. An invasive species is any plant or animal that are non-native to the ecosystem in which they now appear or are being planted in, and that can cause harm to the economy, the environment, or human health. One of the most despised invasive species has to be the imported fire ants. Two different fire ant species were introduced in the United States by accident in the early 1900s. The black imported fire ant and the red imported fire ant. To make matters worse, <laughs> these species can hybridize, creating a third species. The fire ant most abundant here in the southeast is the red imported fire ant. Fire ants construct large dirt mounds above ground, but are also known to nest in rotting wood, under objects, mulch, and more. A study at SREL found that fire ant colonies increase with habitat alteration and can negatively impact salamanders. Red imported fire ants often become the dominant ant species in infested areas due to their aggressive foraging behavior, feeding on a variety of foods like other insects, dead animals, seeds, and even honeydew produced by aphids. Another study conducted at SRAL documented the impacts of fire ants on turtle species. Fire ants killed developing turtle eggs and would invade an egg shortly after the turtle pipped the shell. This is also suggested as one of the reasons for declines in other reptile species. These ants also have a high reproductive capability, with the large mound easily having more than 250,000 ants. As the infestations grow, so do the impacts on our native and reptile amphibians. Remember, safety is of the utmost importance when it comes to fire ants. Make sure you observe your surroundings so you don't stand in or disturb a fire ant mound. Tune in next week when we discover another invasive species.